That's measuring, measuring a tyre's inflation pressure should now be something every car driver does, more or less automatically. It protects the tyres and saves on fuel and also makes driving easier and safer. The principle here is that the air in the tyre ensures stability and load-bearing capacity. If the inflation pressure is too high, the ride comfort and the braking performance deteriorate as the tyre contact air is clearly reduced. Nor is it good if the inflation pressure is too low, as the tyre's rolling resistance is increased, so we use more fuel. In addition, the tread heats up which can shorten the tyre's service life and ultimately cause damage to the tyre. Studies prove that more than half of all car drivers are driving with excessively low inflation pressure. Now that's something to think about. The manufacturer's instructions regarding inflation pressure can normally be found in the driver's door, here, or else in the glove compartment or on the fuel filler flap. A small tip, it's best to check the inflation pressure every two weeks and to do so when the tyres are cold. This will allow you to drive safely and save fuel.